let's talk about the rollover drop. It's awesome. I love it. It's a pitch I threw in college. It's great. It tends to work for, for the most part. Well, when I'm deciding, like, are we going to try to go for the peel drop or the rollover drop right now with a newer pitcher that's just starting out with a drop ball, I look at what comes most natural. In general, not every time, but in general, if I have a kid that just naturally seems to like put that corkscrew spin on a fastball, we work all the time for the 12 6. That's what I want essentially, because that's an effective pitch. A corkscrew fastball, bullet spin fastball, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't move. It's not, it's not effective, not as effective as it could be. And so when I see a kid that has that, because it happens, and we're working real hard to get that 12 6 fastball spin. They seem to just understand and grasp the rollover better than the peel for some reason. So I tend to go there first with them. Doesn't necessarily mean that we stay there, but it seems to work best as a first type of like introduction to the drop ball. If I have a kiddo that really is nailing the 12-6 fastball spin down, usually those are the kids I get to start with as babies, as beginners. When we see that, then we'll go to the peel because that's very, very similar to a fastball. And that's what's so funny is I have my kids who start on that. They're like, this feels like a fastball. And I'm like, yeah, it's really easy. It's crazy easy. It should be easy. If you can sit back there on the mound and throw a fastball spinning down that drops and then add a little more on it and make it fall off the table as with a peel drop, I mean, I can't imagine the confidence. That's awesome. So going to the rollover because I love this pitch. Like I said, I threw it and it's fun. You got to think planes as far as the drop ball goes. Planes meaning this way up and down and then for your curveball stuff that breaks horizontally this way, right? So when we're moving to a drop ball, I like to kind of expand this. When we're getting the feel down after the spin, right? A lot of stuff up close. You got to get close and make sure you, your hand understands the way it needs to move. Then we can move back a little bit and start to figure out how to move that ball down, right? I was going to say up and down, just make sure we stay on this plane, but down essentially. So one cool thing you can do is kind of raise your athlete up. Um, so we've put, we've put some kiddos on top of our boxes and worked on the bounce drill and the drill that we just throw that spin straight to the to the target. So you'll see our athlete up on the box and then we'll slowly move her down closer to the ground. Now it's not just for show, it's not just because it looks cool, it's not be just because it's fun. Every athlete I've done this with are like, this is awesome, I love this. It helps expand that plane a little bit. So the ground is a lot further down away from them. It kind of helps them understand like, I gotta go hard and I gotta go fast to get this ball on the ground that fast. Same with going to the glove. The angle is much higher. It's almost like you're on a baseball mound, which is another great drill for drop ball. Put a pitcher on a baseball mound or a ramp and let them feel their body coming forward. Let them feel that angle and what that looks like. And then as you plane them out and get them on flat ground, it, it just makes more sense. You're just helping that plane get ingrained in their brain. So especially with our lefties, lefties always have a natural curveball. They're always going to go more horizontal. A curve drop is awesome. Oh my gosh. But if we can't figure out how to make that ball go down, it's hard to get there, right? So help them see and feel and understand the up and down motion and plane of a drop. And then we complement that with the rise, right? So down up plane going this way we got to feel that the height putting an athlete on the box it really helps them understand that it's really really cool give it a try let me know you'll see some of our kids doing this when you come up and see us in person um super helpful comment if there's any questions or other things that you know you get stuck on i would love to help good luck out there